we cut open the uh, inguinal canal right here so we can separate the external oblique muscle from the next layer of muscle which is uh, internal oblique so going back external oblique will have attachment to the ribs and uh, coastal cartilage and the fibers uh, are oblique no? positioned in uh, that direction from lateral going medial up going down so the position of the muscle fibers should allow you to distinguish and recognize it uh, from uh, the next layer internal oblique now, the fibers of internal oblique run perpendicular to the fibers of external oblique now, especially in this area but uh, as you can see when you move towards the inguinal uh, region no? the fibers become uh, more uh, horizontal or even uh, oblique going uh, down and medial no? in this area so we have identified the uh, spermatic cord earlier and try to look closely there are fibers of uh, the internal oblique muscle no, which will uh, go with the spermatic cord and uh, wrap around the uh, spermatic cord so the uh, internal oblique muscle fibers will actually contribute to the formation of uh, the cremaster muscle layer no, of uh, the scrotal wall the skin of the abdomen, of course, no, that is continuous with uh, the skin of the scrotum. But uh, they will have different uh, characteristics no, while the abdominal wall skin is uh, somewhat uh, smooth and, and flat. No, the scrotal skin is more uh, wrinkled. So, the... Uh, superficial uh, fascia no? the superficial uh, fascia layer of the abdominal wall skin uh, it will contribute to uh, the dartos muscle layer here in uh, the uh, scrotal wall particularly uh, the scarpa's uh, fascial uh, layer while the external oblique no? external oblique uh, muscle and its uh, aponeurosis so while there is a defect right here which allows the uh, transmission of the uh, spermatic cord no? in uh, other areas no? the uh, external oblique muscle and its aponeurosis uh, will continue and uh, contribute to the formation of the uh, external spermatic uh, fascia no? in uh, the scrotal uh, sac. Understanding the uh, continuity of abdominal wall layers with the scrotal wall layer is very important because uh, in uh, one common no? Uh, condition affecting uh, males and females alike but mostly males will be uh, inguinal uh, hernias no? and uh, the structural uh, problem no? in inguinal hernia is uh, best explained no? and understood if uh, you know the uh, different layers of the abdominal wall with their uh, corresponding uh, layers no? here in uh, the scrotal wall. Actually, the scrotum develops as an outpouching of the abdominal wall because during uh, fetal development, no? during intrauterine development, uh, the testis, which will uh, eventually uh, occupy the scrotum, the testis originally develop and start out as uh, an intra-abdominal or intra-pelvic organ. 
and during uh, growth and development of the fetus it will uh, migrate no? and in the process it will create the inguinal canal and ultimately the uh, scrotal sac uh, 